So today I have the honors of presenting our software to you. And let me get started by firing up the software by simply typing command prompt uh, in command prompt A is review lab. Hit enter and we'll just wait until it gets started. And I'll take this time to talk to you about what I like about A's review so much. Because if you're using it, then the data that you use stays your own. We don't see it, we don't control it, we don't own it. Everything stays locally stored on your computer. Um, as you can see here, we have landed at our home page. And you can see the PTSD project I have stored here. And this is actually a really nice demonstration because this is the same project that we talked about earlier today, the PTSD data set made by Rens. And as you can see here, instead of uh, reading all through, through already all the articles, he would have only needed to screen about 5% to see all the relevant documents already, which is, of course, a lot of time saved. And we want you to do the same, and we want you to have the same opportunity to do so. So how would you use AS Review? Well, in the next part of this demonstration, I'll show you how. So we'll just make a new project together. So let me go back to home and create a new project. We'll have to give it a name. So for today, I'll call it demo, provided your name, which my name is Sophie, and then a short description, demonstration for AS Review TV. There we go, create. And now we have to set up our project. And first, the first thing we have to do is provide our data. And again, this is locally stored, so we don't see your data at all. And today, I have conveniently already created a, a data set for this. And it's the same data set we've talked about today earlier. It's the PTSD data set. So let me upload this. And as you can see, it has successfully uploaded, meaning that we can quickly and already start with everything else. Uh, as Laura also told you, we need to provide some prior informa information. And since this review was already published, we already know some titles which contain the relevant information. So let me just copy and paste those. And I'll just do two for today. And I'll just do that via the search button. Here you can just type a, a title or use an author to find those articles that are relevant. And in your own case, you probably know one or two papers that are relevant and which make it e really easy to get this through this step. So then we'll just do the second. We'll copy it and we'll paste it. Or as I like to call it, uh, copy pasta. Or I did it wrong, but that doesn't matter. I'll just, you know, use one here. I think this one is it. I'll just hit relevant. And for the irrelevant knowledge, we can simply use the random button because the chances of finding a relevant paper within 6,000 uh, papers is quite slim. So I'll just go with that and I'll just, you know, watch, uh, read through it real quick and see if it's relevant or not. And it's probably not, so we'll just press irrelevant. And here the same, it's also an irrelevant document. And I'll leave it at that for today because it would be better to provide some more information, but just for this demonstration, I'll leave it at this. And we can go to the next step, which is also a nice step, selecting, selecting an active learning model. And today, we'll just go with the defaults because we've done research on them, and we know that these work in all different kinds of situations, and they work easy and fast. So that's what we want today. And we'll just press Finish and let AS Review uh, train a model on the background. Um, What's also really nice is that when we're going to start screening, that we stay in control of whether we think or we think that it's relevant or it's not relevant at all. And well, the machine doesn't make your decisions, you do. And I'll show you how we do that. The machine simply gives a suggestion on the papers. It, this is the uh, suggestion that the machine thinks is the most relevant paper at this point. But we, as researchers, we decide whether that's really the truth. So we have to decide on relevant or irrelevant. So I'll just choose relevant for now and irrelevant for the next and irrelevant for the next. And as you can see, this is actually also updated on our stat statistics uh, bar. So every time you make a decision, this is also updated, which is really nice. Once you're done reviewing, you can actually go back to your project and also download the results. So you can do that here in this section. Uh, like so, and you can just download it as an Excel file, for example. And that's all the basics that you need to know to get started with AS Review yourself. 
I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration, and I hope you get to enjoy using A's reuse soon. Thank you.